Hello and welcome to video number 19 in this sound painting series. My name's Evan Mazunik. Thanks for joining. Uh, I want to thank uh, Friedmar, I think that's how you pronounce your name, uh, for uh, replying to video number one with a video response. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and go back to video number one in this series. Uh, should be in the playlist uh, on this channel. And to check it out. It was a very playful and imaginative uh, response to the video um, with a blues feel. So he combined and added a blues feel, which is uh, fun to listen to. And we haven't talked much about feels, different styles or genres, uh, like rock or like swing or many, many others. But uh, it was good to hear that. And um, we can go into more detail on that video. But I want to thank you for that response, Friedmar. And if you haven't checked out his steno motion, it's a fascinating, uh, fascinating language in and of itself. So check out his video. Um, and Christian and Bruno, if you're watching, I want to ask you to go ahead and uh, follow through on those videos as well. Uh, looking forward to your responses. So today, we're going to work with pitch up and pitch down. Pitch up and pitch down. So that's usually defaulted in the language, and this is more for music right now. It's usually defaulted in the language to be a half step or a whole step, a tone or a semitone. For me, I really like using, uh, keeping the interval open and letting it be a real surprise to me on what the player will choose to do. Just take your sound and displace it up or down by some interval. Now if you're working with movement and you're following along, uh, again this will just be a change in frequency. A little quicker, a little slower. Incremental change. And uh, if you're familiar with Butch Morris and his work with conduction, he has something similar. He uses a pitch up and a pitch down. But today we're going to be using this. So we'll just work with a long tone, any sustained sound or movement, and we're going to go ahead and displace it, move it up, move it down. If you're working in two groups, uh, or maybe even with two hands, for the pianists among us, uh, I'm going to do some split action like that, where this part of the group goes up, and this part of the group goes down. So I'll in a sense sort of split myself and do some work with two groups or with one group. So here's the preparation, and then I'm going to lean in, and you'll see the big, the big hand thanks to this camera angle. And when I stop here, that's the initiation on this gesture. Uh, so you won't look for a play. You'll just see this as the prep and begin. And then once you go up a uh, tone or semitone, or in my case, uh, any open interval, stay there. So if I'm a singer, I'm singing a long tone right here. Uh, for instance. So you go up and stay up, or you go down and stay down. All right, here we go.
All right, that was fun. I look forward to your responses. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week.